A go anywhere monitor is super handy. Maybe your office situation has changed recently. Maybe you just need some extra workspace, or maybe you want more flexibility on the go. Le Pau, which is just a cool brand name. It's like French Batman, Le Biff, Le Splat, Le Pau. I'm so sorry. I couldn't help that. Lapau sent over a 15 inch 1080p portable monitor. Now I'm really digging these types of products. Slim, super light, and flexible. You can connect to pretty much anything, USB-C or HDMI. So phones, tablets, laptops, desktops, cameras, game consoles, pretty much anything that can send out a video signal. We get an IPS panel of respectable quality, nothing fancy, 60 Hertz, decent viewing angles and solid brightness. It's built to sit side by side a medium sized laptop. Speakers are built in and they're okay. We should expect some compromises for a thin and light build, but they are functional. They're thin, they're really thin and weedy and they're easily outpowered by most consumer laptop speakers. Most mid-range phone speakers should be able to best this output. But surprisingly, the headphone jack is Okay, we're never gonna call this audio file grade. It's pulling the audio feed from an HDMI style source, but plugging in some good earbuds, watching movies was fuller than I was expecting. The thing we can't get away from on these lower cost solutions is the hiss or the air generated by the hardware. The Lepau has a noticeable whine when nothing is playing, and thankfully that disappears when some audio does kick on. I'm not trying to praise this, we're talking relative performance, but considering the goal of the product and the speakers, the headphone jack was better than I was expecting. The frame feels sturdy enough for some travel, but babying it is probably a good idea. The included magnetic cover is necessary if you're going to take this out of the house on a regular basis. The tricky thing about a solution like this is knowing exactly what will be fully compatible. Laptops with Thunderbolt and USB-C hookups will probably be able to connect over a single cable. The Lapau doesn't have a battery. It's bus powered on some machines. My gaming laptop on Thunderbolt, game on. My Huawei MateBook, mated just fine. My Pixelbook Go, go ahead. I'll stop with the puns there. MacBooks and similar systems, I'm confident you're going to be good to go. My wife's Surface laptop, Big ol' nope. The Surface USB-A port could power it, but no display. So you have to use a display port to HDMI adapter and a separate cable for power, and then it's recognized by the Surface. Ditto, hooking up a phone, console, or camera, you've gotta find a separate solution for power. Now, the power draw isn't very heavy. Most consumer phone chargers or portable batteries can fire this puppy up just fine. It's just extra cable management and that kinda eats away at the ease of use. On the subject of that input cable, the Lapau uses a mini HDMI to save some space. A mini to full size HDMI cable is included in the box. You don't wanna lose that. Mini HDMI isn't as easy to replace on the go as a full sized HDMI cable, but at least that's a standard connector. It's pretty easy to order a replacement if you happen to lose this one. As mentioned, the Lapau comes with a folding magnetic cover, which is also the intended stand. You know, kinda iPad style, but a bit floppier. I've never been a huge fan of these tablet cover stand solutions. They always seem to flop flat when you shift them just a little. It's less of a concern for a monitor because you're going to set it up and then you're probably not gonna touch it. It's not a touch screen. But I wish there were some other ways to mount this. You know, I've taken to using an old folding tablet stand. I think it cradles it a bit more securely and you have more choices in adjusting the angle. That's a cheap add-on accessory, probably worth the extra cost when you order something like this. And lastly, I appreciate that this is just a regular monitor. There's a little rocker switch activating an on-screen display with all the standard controls you'd expect. You can adjust color and brightness, control the speaker volume, and you'll probably wanna play with those as the settings out of the box on mine were a bit funky. My hue was set kinda too blue and it was way too dim. Couple clicks through the OSD and we're right as rain. So wrapping all this up, we're ballpark for the price. The main name in this space would probably be Asus and pricing seems to track well, slightly undercutting similar portable offerings. I'm expecting to see a few more competitors for this kind of hardware over the coming years. For example, 
It's only a hair cheaper than my next dock, a full laptop clamshell with a battery. But the next dock is super boutique, currently unavailable, and I'd say the Lapau display panel is a little higher quality. A lot of products are gonna be hitting the space where phones are gonna enable desktop modes, and we're gonna be able to get more flexible use out of devices that we normally wouldn't push this hard. And this review is really timely. We've had to make some adjustments here for my wife and I in our work-life balance, and having a a second display at the ready meant less interruption to my wife's workflow. I really hope this is a product segment that gets a bit more traction. You know, maybe you don't need a permanent desktop setup. It might be the right fit if you're also having to make some similar adjustments. Also, the reason why I'm not currently holding it for this part of the video is my wife is using it while I shoot this. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to this channel. Finding useful accessories is a really fun part of my job, especially when they help us get a bit more use out of tech we already own. If you would like to help support the production of those conversations, there are links below, or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen. It's a growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future content. They're really good people. I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.